Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to Stories, Treasures and Tea. So glad you're here today. It is extremely hot here today. I think the temperature is like 40 degrees Celsius with the humidity. So we are really experiencing a heat wave right now. Um, I hope it's pleasant where you are. I thank you very much for your comments. I really feel like um, you're an inspiration to me and you're also a support for me. Last week I talked about um, my father's item that was found in Holland uh, because he was a soldier in World War II and someone reached out to look for our family on um, a Facebook uh, group uh, site and I'm going to give you details about that later because we don't have much more information except we're planning to do a Zoom meeting with the uh, gentleman that reached out to us about my father's soldier book in Holland and we're in Canada here so very very interesting story emotional as well so today in stories treasures and tea I'm going to begin talking about my tea and today I have this pretty little cup and it's um it's made in England got little blue flowers inside but the tea I have today is a blueberry raisin I thought that was kind of nice for summer and oh it smells delightful and it's also a herbal tea so let me try it very nice very fruity it's really a fruity tea um Tiamo does have it online and as you know, if you are in Canada, you can order this um, Tiamo Blueberry Raisin Tea. We can't deliver to the States yet. We are working on it. But it's a nice tea for summer. It's also a nice tea for um, an iced tea. Absolutely. So also in this video, I'm going to share at the end some very sad news. But I'll do that, that at the end. In the meantime, we'll talk about some good things. And the first thing I want to talk about is my treasures this week. I went to a thrift shop and it was interesting because sometimes I don't understand the pricing in the thrift shops. I'm going to show you what I got and then I'll tell you the differences in uh, pricing. So this is a beautiful two-tiered uh, cut glass serving tray, like would be perfect for high tea or just a uh, if you have friends over, you could put anything on there. So I love that. Um, and that was in the thrift shop. But right beside it was a simple white vase. Very simple. Didn't look like anything special, but it was from Indigo. So this simple white vase was like $10. This two-tiered cut glass was $7.99. I don't understand the pricing, but to each his own. But I also want to show you this, which, of course, I, I wash this uh, two-tiered platter very good. And then because I don't think it's crystal, but I really don't know. Maybe somebody out there who is knowledgeable with crystal would know this. I didn't see any markings on it like Waterford or anything. I'm sure it's not Waterford, but I wash it in warm, soapy water. And then after it's dried... I have this flower sack tea towel. I love these flower sack tea towels. They're big. They're 100% cotton. Very big. I, I think they're like 18 by 18, maybe. I'm not certain, but I really like to polish different glass items with this. That's one of the things I like to use this uh, flower sack tea towel. It's kind of an old-fashioned thing, but this is good for everything in the kitchen. Wiping down the counters, like I have a granite countertop, and this is good for wiping that down. First, I'm clean it up with, you know, maybe some soap and water, and then polish it with this. You can dry dishes with this, of course, but I love these flower sack tea towels. I'm going to link those for you, too. So that was one of my treasures this week. But the other one was this picture behind me. I could not resist this. It just kind of blends in with my 
decor and um, I tried to change up my cushions a little bit to match it and um, so you've got these green ones here too, green and blue. But anyway, um, I saw this and it's big. It's like, I think it was like 36 inches wide by, I don't know, maybe 26 uh, this way. So I'll try to show you this in a video too, but it was $24.99. Even the frame alone is worth way more than that. It was $24.99. And it was Tuesday, so I got the 30% discount. So I was very pleased to have that. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is stories. And this week, my story is about my basement renovation. My basement was very, uh, almost dungeon-like, because it was very unfinished. So, we have this tea business and uh, we were a lot more active, I guess you could say, uh, just before COVID and even during COVID because we were delivering to people afternoon tea in a box, delivering it to their front door. During COVID, they loved that because people couldn't get out. Then the restaurants opened again, which is good, and our business changed up. But we were sharing a kitchen. We were sharing a commercial kitchen. And then we thought, I thought about it before to put a kitchen in the basement. I thought we can't afford to do that. So then Michael, the man in my life, he said to me that he could do this. He is very skilled at um, construction and renovations, very skilled at that. So he said he could do this with us. So I got to thinking and I thought maybe I could um, look for some used things and thrifted items, which is what we did. So we have a commercial kitchen in our basement. So here we are going into our commercial kitchen or a kitchen for anybody later in life. Has our colors, so pretty. So many things were thrifted. This table, we use that so much, and that was in Michael's garage. We cleaned it up. The cabinets, the cupboards up above and below, and the double sinks and the faucets. Of course, we have three sinks because you have to for the inspections, but all those cupboards were $500 and they also gave us a dishwasher which was portable and we sold it for 200 so all the cupboards sinks and even this cabinet down at the end of the kitchen really ended up costing us 300 and look at our cute little toaster oven the same color as our branding and I got those door drawer pulls on Amazon. There's our aprons. We had that clock a long time ago. We have a tiny little fridge here and also a fridge that we took into the car. It was like a portable kind of fridge. And this table, it was $30. It is solid, but the top was all scuffed up and stained. So I saw these floor tiles in Home Depot. There were only like six of them. And then when we were down there working away and we were doing, we did hundreds and hundreds of afternoon tea to deliver. And then I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a washroom down here? Because we had to keep running upstairs if we had to use the washroom. So Michael said he could do that. So we worked on getting a bathroom downstairs. And here is our bathroom. I got these tiles from a man for $20. The sink and cupboard was another $25 on Facebook Marketplace. And the mirror was $10 on Facebook Marketplace. The toilet was brand new. Won't thrift with a toilet. There's those little pearl tie backs from Giant Tiger, and the curtain was from Giant Tiger. I think it was like $10. The, 
The tile was on sale at uh, Home Depot, a very good deal. And the bathtub I got from a guy that had brand new bathtubs on a truck. I don't know where they came from, but it was $150. Pretty little mirror. And then Michael said, if you're going to have that, you might as well finish off the rest of the basement. So we put in a big uh, living area. And finally, Heather, my daughter who lives here, she got her own bedroom. And it is a great bedroom with a nice window. It's very nice. Okay, and here is our living area. The lamps were $20 for these giant lamps. Heather wanted this tapestry so bad. She said in the olden days, they used it to keep the house cozy. And it really does make it cozy down here. It's quite eclectic. This cedar chest is from my mother. It's a treasure. Um, I got that plate in a thrift shop because it seemed to blend in with the with the peacocks in the tapestry. So I had to get that. And then down here, there's a, a table and chairs, which Michael had tossed aside, so I got that. And that mirror was upstairs. And this cute little night light was from my sister. Look at the shape of that, so cute. Even that door I got online, I think it was $50. And then this is just a curtain that I had Michael put up. Beyond that is storage and our furnace. This table was on Facebook Marketplace. It's a beauty. And that picture was free from a neighbor that was tossing it out. And that's the project we worked on that we painted with that fusion mineral paint. Heather's room, so pretty, she chose that color. And she has a walk-in closet. She bought that little dresser from a student. This table was upstairs for years. To end the video, I have some first some sad news. As you know, our little bit goes to uh, Heather's boyfriend's farm. We go there a fair bit. It, we're very fortunate to have access to that and walk there and enjoy the, the nature. But the big old dog there, Max, he had to be put down yesterday. It was so sad for all of us. He was, I thought he was 12 or 11 or 12 years old. He was 16 years old. And for the last few months, he struggled with his hind quarters and then he couldn't walk. He, it was just losing all, all his faculties. So we, uh, they, they decided that it was definitely time. So they had to put him down and it was so sad. I cried, so imagine how uh, Heather and her boyfriend felt. So that was the sad news. But on a nicer note, as I end the video, I want to tell you that I did yoga this morning. I do it with a woman on YouTube. It's called Padma Yoga. Uh, some of the episodes are quite old, but I love her. And um, she talked about she talked about a Sanskrit word, ahimsa, and what ahimsa means is non-violence or non-harming in any way to any living being. So that was interesting to listen to. And in that sort of uh, yoga, um, that yoga meaning and ahimsa, what they said was the most important person is the one in front of you, as you are in front of me, the most important person. And Maybe you know people that have this gift. Maybe you have this gift. I knew a woman who, um, I haven't seen her for a few years, but she had seven children, which was, you know, a little unusual in this uh, uh, day and age. And she had this gift where if she was talking to you, that's what was most important. It didn't matter what was going on around her. You were most important. That's who she was looking at, and that's who she was listening to. And I struggle to do that, because if I'm talking to somebody, sometimes I'll, I'll, my eyes will wander and say, oh, what's going on there? And then I try to come back, but it really is a gift, and I try to 
work on that. So that is the ahinsa. And they also said that um, when we're talking to this person in front of us, our actions and our words can mean so much. And we know that, even our tone. So the idea is to uh, make that person, if you can, feel a little bit better when we leave or, or uh, are finished talking to them. And if we can uh, concentrate on doing that, then it will make us happier too. So um, let's all work on Ahinsa, and I hope that you have a wonderful week. Um, I know that with your comments and just being here, you definitely make me feel better. Thank you, and see you next week. Bye.